Hi friends, I'm Nancy Novak from StampAndShout.com and today I have something really quick to show you. It's a little tea bag holder. If you look in here, I have a little tea bag. And I thought this would be really cute for Mother's Day, a last minute idea or last minute card. Um, my mom's a type of mom that says, oh, don't give me anything, you know, I have everything I need, blah, blah, blah. So um, this is a cute idea because you could actually give this to her. And if you look, it says, come, let us sit together and drink tea. So it's kind of like you could give your time with her. And I thought that would be something she would really like. Um, anyway, the stamp set I'm using is Balloon Celebration. And this stamp set is continuing into the new catalog that's coming out June 1st. And it says, come, let us sit together and drink. And you have the, ch the option of tea, coffee, champagne, hot chocolate, and the other sentiments, you have happy birthday, um, let us celebrate. And if you were making a card um, and you had on the outside, come let us sit together and drink coffee, tea, or hot chocolate, inside it has and eat cookies or and eat cake. So it's got some cute sentiments and it coordinates with the balloon punch. It's got the cute little cloud so it's really a nice little stamp set. I really like these little dandelion type. There's a big one and a little one. And on the one that I did here, I stamped, come let us sit together. And then I stamped off so this is a little bit lighter. And that's that little dandelion. So today we're gonna make one a little bit different than this. I am gonna use Flirty Flamingo. So I have a piece of cardstock here, and it's four and a quarter by seven and a half inches, and I scored it at three and three quarters. I put a piece of um, the two two sided tape right here. I have everything pretty much cut out and done, so my video can be kind of quick for you. Um, so we'll get into that part later. But that is two sided sticky tape right there, and I also have a piece of flirty flamingo, and this is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. I have a piece of Whisper White that's two and five eighths by two and five eighths. And I have designer series paper. This is a three inch square that I just cut diagonally. And this piece is one and a half inches by three and three quarter inches. So basically you just wanna pick the color that your mom likes, find a little bit of extra DSP that you have, little scraps, and you can make this really quick and easy. You don't have to worry about the tea bag that you put in there because it's not going to be seen, so it doesn't have to coordinate. Of course, if your mom has a favorite tea, this would be a good way to present that to her, too. So let's get started really quick and easy. Here we go. So as I said, this, this piece here, we scored it down the middle. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up one and a half inches right here. And I'm going to mark it with a pencil, and I'm going to mark it on the inside because you're not going to see it. When we're all done so I've got one and a half inches and I'm just going to give a little pencil mark right there on the inside and then what I'm going to do so here's our card I marked it one and a half inches I'm going to just fold it right on that line and I'm not going to worry about it up here I just want to make sure that this is kind of even so I'm kind of like just going to mark it make this kind of even this line right here and then everything else will fall into place and we're just going to crease it. Now there are, you know, fancier ways you can do it with a diagonal cutting board, you know, score it and cut it, but this is just as just as easy and it works fine. Okay, then we are going to take our little piece of D designer series paper and we're going to adhere that. So again, this is going to go on the inside right in that upper corner. So I'm just going to add some snail. And put it right up there in the corner. And then this piece we're going to lay here. We're going to lay it on the outside of the card. like that. And then this piece here we're going to stamp on. Um, let's bring this back in. We can go ahead and seal this up. So I'm taking off that two-sided tape. 
and we're going to seal this up. I want to use two-sided tape because I want it down the sticky part just real slight at the bottom because we're going to stick our tea bag in there at the end and I want to be able to have it go down as far as possible. So we'll do that. And then we're going to bring this piece in and we're going to stamp Come Let Us Sit Together. And like I said, I am using Flirty Flamingo. So we'll bring that in. Ink it up. Stamp right in the middle. Okay. And then we're going to add the word T. And again, we got the polymer stamp, so you can see, isn't that pretty? The polymer stamp, so you can see right through. Then I'm going to take a couple of the little extra stamps in here, this little one here and this little dotted one, and I'm going to use that here and there, and I'm going to stamp off and just put a couple of those stamps wherever you want. So since you stamped off, you can kind of even go over your sentiment. So now I'm going to bring in the little dotted piece, stamp off. It kind of just adds a little bit of interest to your card. back in the one I did earlier. So see on this one I did the little dandelions. So there's a lot of ideas you can do and of course whatever color your mom likes that'll help set the card off, make her happy. So I'm just going to snail this piece onto our cardstock. Okay. And then I am going to bring in a piece of ribbon. This is about 14 or 15 inches. And I am not the greatest bow tire, but um, I'm going to put these this here to kind of hold my card in place. And we're going to tie a bow right in the center here of this piece. And we're going to make it be over to the far right edge. So let's see, let's just tie that bow. Once you tie it, you can kind of move it over if you need to have it over to the right a little bit more. Okay, so there's my little bow, and you can slide it over as far over to the right as you need. We'll just little angle these edges a little bit. this piece in that we stamped and we're going to add some dimensions and we're going to add the dimensions on the left corners top and bottom like that and on the bottom right corner and we're going to attach that So kind of center that and bring our ribbon up here a little bit. So we're just going to kind of so there we go and bring in a little tea bag and slide it in right behind it. See it doesn't show so it doesn't really matter if it matches or not. So there you go quick and easy. I hope you like it. Let's bring in the other one. So like I said, pick a favorite color. I think your mom would really like it. But, you know, it's really great for a friend card. Um, you name it. It's a nice little cute little gift, and I hope you like it. Like I said, this 
stamp set, the balloon celebration stamp set, is you can buy it now or it is in the new catalog. So visit my blog. I'll have all the dimensions for this little gift on my blog. And if you want to purchase any supplies, you can purchase them right there. And I'll see you next time. Bye.